You are watching Inside the Huddle, presented by Community Coffee. I'm Emily Dixon, and joined this week for his debut on Inside the Huddle, quarterback Max Johnson. Now, Max, before we dive into spring ball, let's rewind a little bit back to last season. Yeah. You get the starting nod, you go 2-0, yep. and you get your first road win in the swamp. What are the emotions like for a true freshman to have such big memories like that? Yeah, I think it was kind of awesome. Um, Florida is kind of, you know, I mean, everyone says, you know, the swamp is kind of a scary place. But, uh, you know, we all we came together. Yeah, we ended up with a win. KK 57-yard field goal, and uh, we ended up with a win. So it was awesome. This spring, you have a very deep wide receiver room to work with, and Keishon Butte and you became that one-two punch towards the end of last season. What are some of the memories from that Ole Miss game? Not only just to end a tough season on a big win, but rewrite the record books at the this same one, time. Yeah, um, you know, Keishon had a big game. He had, what, 308 yards, I'm not sure. Um, that's the most by any receiver in the SEC, which is kind of crazy. Um, he also had like, what, three touchdowns? I'm not really sure. It was but, a lot. Uh, yes. Um, the O-line did a great job blocking, and uh, we ended up with a win. So it was awesome. It turned out really well. We ended up the season with, a, with two wins. This is one of the deepest quarterback rooms going in spring ball that we've had at LSU in a very long time. I mean, three guys that have already been starters for the team. How does that elevate y'all's competition going through spring ball as you all battle for that job? Yeah, it's, it's been really competitive this year. Um, all, you know, all four of us are competing. Uh, you know, we're all friends outside of football, but it's really competitive on the field. So it'll be a great competition going through this year. A lot of players have talked about new offensive coordinator, Jake Peets kind of having a similar offense philosophy that LSU has had in the past, but bringing in its own wrinkles too. Yeah. So how would you describe this new Pete's LSU offense for Tiger fans that are curious what's going on that side of the ball? I would say it's kind of a hybrid. Um, I think it's going to be a lot of fun this year. We're going to give it to our playmakers a lot. Uh, you know, the running backs and the receivers are going to be making a lot of plays for us this year. Uh, we're going to center, uh, you know, play action, a lot of touchdowns, there. It's going to be a lot of fun this year. Okay, lastly, Coach O gave you the starting reps after your 2-0 ending as a starter for the season. And he's also kind of, him and your teammates have talked about you taking on a leadership role. So what's that been like for you, especially only being on campus for a year, going into a leader role? You know, I really haven't changed much. I've always led by example, but on this year I'm trying to lead more by uh, more of a, a vocal way this year. And I feel like I've done a, more of a, a, a better job doing that. And I mean, I'm trying to encourage others and make others around me better. Well, thank you very much, Max. I know that we're looking forward to seeing you in the spring game next week, and I'm sure you're going to be on many huddles to come. So yes, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thank you. And thank you for watching Inside the Huddle, presented by Community Coffee, the state coffee of Louisiana, and official coffee of the LSU Tigers.